as they are doing cosmic carry here rolling out in my rover uh, 257 I believe it's called the yeah it's a rover 257 tier 6 uh, light premium tank this is of course the tank that's based on the tank from the lunar mode which I think I played once or twice I'm not that big into the special events modes I, I don't do the commander mode story mode definitely no way Jose um, but yeah so I picked this up it was on sale and I have to say, it's, I, I absolutely love this thing. It is just insane. And it's a combination of it being a fantastic tank. Uh, view range is unbelievable. The gun is really great. It's kind of like a modified T-37. And I love the T-37. I managed to free market very easily, I might add. Uh, having said that we are at tier 6 so there, there's a lot to be said about me playing at tier 6 but I, I fully understand you know I'm just letting loose having a bit of fun and you know I don't venture that often down into these tiers do I? I don't, I don't know so anyhow uh, Lunar Tank let's get into it as you can see, my fantastic view range. We are on Fisherman's Bay, by the way. We are on... I had really had to cherry pick my vids for this tank because the majority of my battles have been on Fisherman's Bay due to the, the map rotation that we're having this weekend. And, um, yeah, so... Uh, it would have been great if they would have included Malinovka into the, the map list. I think that would have made it complete and it really has been for me a weekend of light tanks light tanks light tanks and I fully appreciate and understand people that hate that map rotation due to the fact that you know they're playing in heavies or whatever any second now I'm gonna smash into an Ikea tank there he goes <laughs> Tully didn't see him he gets very mad at me and I, I, I spent half an hour signaling I'm so sorry I'm so sorry. And he almost dies as well. Nobody's shooting at me. They're all shooting at him. He's pretty pissed. And rightly so. You know, if you're sitting quietly in a bush and nobody's messing with you and along comes a tank and almost flips you over. But the, this kind of... Um, that play right there, that mistake, that whatever you want to call it, uh, collision, totally kind of influence the rest of the game because I decided okay I'm gonna be the best scout that I can be just for the IKEA tank just for you buddy I'm gonna keep an eye on where you are and uh, he's on the one two line and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and be the best tank best little scout tank just for you because of what I just did you know I had a mission I had a goal with all the tanks, I'm, I will always need goals. I always need a mission. I always need, you know, something to work for, something to aim for. And it, in an instant, it was decided with that collision. It was decided for me. This, this was my mission. This was my goal. The one-two line, you know, <laughs> the one-two line. Just, just for the IKEA tank. I'm gonna help clear it out. I'm gonna light up the reds as much as possible and just go for it. I'm his personal little scout tank, as, as much as I can be. So, as you can see, I'm actually bouncing stuff, which is unbelievable. This tank has a uh, fantastic view range, great mobility, really decent gun. It doesn't have that much in the way of armor. Very uh, much reminds me of the T-52 uh, when it comes to the mobility of the thing, because it's kind of top heavy and does um, uh, the T-50 to has sort of the nickname uh, Flippy, Topsy, Turvy, I don't know. A Tippy, Tippy, I think it's Tippy. That's the most popular one because it kind of tips over. And th this one is, is very similar. The, the, and I think it's mostly to do with the fact that it's kind of top heavy and, you know, a lot of mobility. Um, doing my magic on the Hellcat, as you can see. Yeah, I, I fully understand he has a terrible turret traverse so we're good to go I wasn't worried about him you know turning around and taking me out um, up, up here all that is left I think it's an absolution I, I thought the, the Churchill was still in play and all of that jazz I realized you know I don't want to I need to clear out this the, the nest up here so to speak 
if there are any more tanks in the vicinity. We need we need to clear this out because we're losing drastically, you know, big time. Our, our team, here there's an absolution. Our team are in really pretty decent defensive positions. As you can see, there's a medium kind of scouting for those tanks if the enemy reds do decide to push onto our base. So defensively, we're good, but numbers-wise, we're not that great, you know. So I decided, okay, I need to get rid of this absolution. I did, you know, I did, well, I helped get rid of the absolution. And I was kind of double-checking the area here because I thought there would be... I thought the Churchill was still alive here, I, you know, when I originally kind of came down here, there was at least three or four, but everybody's dead, everybody's dead, which is great, which is fantastic, and now the push onto our base, I need to get out down to, towards our base, and scout the area, be a scout, and light up the reds, so my um, Padres can get shots on target, um, and uh, just get give them provide them with decent intel with decent information in other words show them where the enemy tanks are without getting uh, lit up myself so we're going to sit in this bush we're going to keep all of these tanks nicely lit up and uh, and we, we gradually slowly sh surely we're bringing back the numbers as you can see you know this is kind of uh, this this was a sort of pivotal moment in the game where they fought uh, we, we got the numbers we stormed the base three of us get on there and you know but it it's it's not gonna work you lit up you lit up there's not that much cover around our, our base there's one or two big boulders but that's about it holding my fire holding my fire I don't want to get if I shoot I'm gonna get lit up but there you go I do get lit up it looks like by the heavy Behind me, I'm not, I'm not sure. So quickly take take out this Panzer IV, and now we need that we've brought it back. We finally managed to secure a lead in the game, first time ever. And I know the Churchill is on musical amount of health. This is another thing I love about this tank: you, you get lit up and you you lose the uh, you'll get undetected pretty quick. But I'm only going to pin it from the front because I need to get to the side. But he has a quick firing gun, you know, the Churchills have those quick firing guns, just like I do. Quick, 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 quick. Arty, arty, arty. Arty, arty, arty. That's all I was worried about was arty. And we've completely turned the game around. All that's left is a medium, and now we're looking for the medium. Keep in mind, we're on five kills. So, no Radleys. But, uh, yeah, this is how you get Radleys. You pick off tanks on that are on the beautiful matter of health in tanks that are quick firing guns that can zip around light tanks and uh, already trying its best there you know to take me out and a fantastic game we brought it back from the brink very easily um, due to this tanks fantastic mobility and the reds taking us for granted. I, I think it was a combination of those two factors, absolutely. The reward always, when you get to the last kill, is Ardy, and you get to kill Ardy, that's always a blessing, a reward. Yeah, he misses. Very nice game, and I managed to give, not give, but you know what I mean, help. Uh, the IKEA tank get a really great um, result. I think uh, ended up with 1.8k damage, which is uh, for tier 6 TD. You know, it's great, it's fantastic. If he's on his first win, or he's, you know, yeah, there you go. You're welcome, buddy. I did me message him afterwards. And next game, we are on Mountain Pass, as you can see. Mountain Pass is pretty decent for lights, it's not the most fantastic. Uh, map for lights in the end stages of the battle I'd say yes that's you know when the light tanks really come into play if you can make it that long but um, yeah so I, I do enjoy my passive my lights always pop up here especially if you have really decent view range you always light somebody up 
not always, but if somebody is in play in that vicinity, in that area, especially up on the sniper's ledge, you know, the, what is it, the C8, um, yeah, so, keep in mind there's three pieces of artillery in play, VK28, I need to be careful here, is this guy a YOLO, it's very reckless what he's doing, uh, but he's he's lighting me up, and there's three pieces of arty, and uh, he's just a YOLO player, as you can see. There's two scout tanks that are going to die in two seconds there on the 1 2 line. First one's died, must read, the second one's going to die any second now. So, which is good, it's decent, it's a result. If we uh, they lost two of their scouts, which is all of their scouts basically always fantastic whenever I load into a game and I'm in a light tank first thing I look at is what lights do they have you know what kind of uh, danger do they pose to me as you can see right in front of me is a medium coming down I'm not facing him but um, that's what lights me up there basically which is a shame there he is I was having fun getting shots onto that TD Playing very arty safe. Arty leaves me alone for the most part. Do a Hail Mary. Nah, it's, it's, it's not going to work. Now, basically, patience is the, the name of the game here. As far as my play is concerned, just wait. See how the battle pans out. And then make your move. It's all about... I need to be heading in this direction where my gun is pointing. And uh, you know, taking out Ardy and moving to the rear of the enemy Reds, but you need to choose that moment wisely. You know, you go too early, you're gonna die. You go too late, you're not gonna pick up any damage. So some nice so sh side shots there on the is that the Polish tier six. Nothing spectacular at the moment. I'm um, honestly, I was kind of waiting on the two mediums in front of me to make their move if they would have pushed I would have pushed so I'm looking at the hip, the hip pulls of these guys up here the Skoda T25 you know I can if I attack him I can maybe get one or two shots into him and that'll be it um, before I die you know because I, I don't know what's over there basically you know I don't know what else is over there. We've developed a really comfortable lead, 5 to 2. Like this Thunderbolt. If I pounce on him, yes, I'll get three or four shots into him, but it'll considerably reduce my hit points and um, considerably um, nerf my effective, uh, effectiveness. Uh, in the end stages of the game, you know, so I want to enter the end stages of the game with as many hit points as I can But at the same time You can't sit at the back and just do nothing now did this Thunderbolt I can attack him now because he's preoccupied with another target the KV-1 which has gone ham on him so I can confidently Get shots on him without getting any shots in return. So this is kind of different I'm not in the front of course so we look, I, I deal with Thunderbolts all the time, and I know their armor is pretty troll, especially from the front, so hence I loaded up some premium, as you can see, and it's uh, too late. So done really well there. I managed to take him out at the cost of one of my teammates, the KV-1, but, well hey, you know, managed to take him out, and I haven't lost any hit points, which is great. And in the blink of an eye, the whole game has changed. There's only three Arty, and there's only one heavy tank. So possibly, maybe, you know, I might have made my move a bit earlier, but, you know, I did. Ooh, 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 ooh. But my reward is I get to kill free artillery. So that, that was really good compensation in this game. A compensating factor. Don't drive against artillery, towards artillery in a straight line. Never do that. Never stop in front of artillery. 
I managed to pick up my fourth kill. We've got 2k damage. Uh, in the space of what, one minute, all of a sudden, out of the blue. This VK, I know what he is. I know his derp gun. I know what his derp gun can do to me, but I'm willing to take the shot. It's okay, because I, I know I'm going to take him out. And uh, he does get a massive, juicy shot into me. But, um, yeah, I knew I was going to take him out. This is when I can give up my hit points. With it last kill of the game <laughs> so 2.2 damage and the uh, 300 assisted v really great game uh, I'm gonna have more vids in this thing I, I love this thing to bits I'm really enjoying it so yeah and we and we managed to pick up the medal I think it's my second free arty kill medal what's it called the Dumitru Dimitru's medal Dumitru's medal very nice Hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. Adios, muchachos.